Welcome back, guys. We're going to the Ice Cavern today, and also we'll be getting the Big Orange Sword in the next installment. But right now, we're in Death Mountain Crater, and we're going to make our way over to the Great Fairy Fountain. Now that we have the hammer, we can smash boulders like we can never do before. A lot of these boulders are actually, um, you can't get them with bombs. So now we can actually use uh, our hammer. So here we are at the Great Fairy Fountain. And we need our ocarina so we can play the song. And pretty soon, will come the Great Fairy. I think she's going to increase our magic power this time. The capacity for magic, that, that green meter that we have. <laughs> Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy. I'm going to enhance your magic power. Receive it now. Somebody needs to get that lady some pants. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, here we go. And our magic meter is increased. Very good. Your magic has been enhanced. Now you have twice as much. The battle has made you weary. Please come back and see me. And there we go. And we're going to definitely need that later. A lot of sword moves require that. Also, Fjord's Wind, um, Din's Fire, and another ability that'll come to us as well all require plenty of magic. So uh, it becomes uh, something that is a, a super necessity in the near future. So now we're going to kind of make our way all the way towards the river towards Zora's domain and we're gonna make our way that way um oh here hit the big drop and ouch that always hurts first stop though since we have the hammer there's a gold stuff it's wait late let's wait for sunset here get rid of this guy there we go oh there he is oh i love when a plan comes together Gold Skulltella. And not that. There we go. Let's get the hook shot out. No problem. Got another one. Only accessible with the hammer. So now that we got it, it's going to make our way back down. An Arctic Wind. Hmm. Foreshadowing. We're going there, Navi. Don't worry. We're on our way. on our way down it's over near uh, the Goron city and nothing like going the wrong way right I they tuck this in so well that you can play this game many times over and still I'll get a little turned around it's a uh, a slight embarrassment, but to my uh, to my credit, uh, it is kind of tricky. All right, here we go. So this boulder right here, we smack it with our hammer. Hello. Thank you very much. All right, there's a sweet little, little way to get down here. Check this out. Do a backflip right off the edge. It hurts a little bit, but hey, it's worth it for a sweet move. All right, so we're going down, we're going down. I think we're being chased by a boulder. This is a scene right out of Indiana Jones. The original, of course, back when Indy was actually good. Because it is no longer good. Um, man, the Dial of Garbage, the new movie. Anyway, poor Harrison Ford. Oh, I'm sorry, brother. 
Okay. I mean, come on. He's Han Solo. He's Jack Ryan. And Harrison Ford is also Indiana Jones. One of my favorite actors of all time. Um, I mean, come on. Iconic characters. He's played the president. He's played uh, the guy who drives the Millennium Falcon. And he's played the guy with a sweet hat and the bow whip. So, yeah. Pretty cool stuff. And off we go to Zora's River. And look at that. Epona's waiting for us. Good horse. I love Epona. If you've seen some, check out my video, by the way. Most, I think it's the most recent one. Uh, well, before this one. Uh, Link and Epona taking on hordes of Bok Goblins. It's made from 20 hours of video, and I edited it in 400 minimum individual non-repeating non Bok Goblin kills and more. There's some other guys in there too. Um, literally, it's, it's one of the most complex edits I've ever done in that I've never had that many edits crammed into 21 minutes and 12 seconds that's right 21 12. um literally over 400 edits meaning 400 individual kills please check out that video uh guys and, and like and subscribe too man uh because i'm having a blast doing all this and here we are riding, we're riding the uh the leaf love it i'm having a blast doing this a blast hanging out with you meeting you and chatting with you in the comments please talk to me Anything you want, I mean, just talk to me. Um, so anyway, like and subscribe, because you know I want to keep doing this, and um, it's been a, a, a pure pleasure. Okay, uh, creating stuff runs in my veins, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing this. So, all right, now we're playing Zelda, Zelda's Lullaby, and that's how we get in to Zora's domain. But things are not going to be as they once were, and you'll soon see. Here we go. Check it out. Everything is frozen over. There's evil afoot here, huh? Looks like Ganon's been uh, having his way with the old Zora people. So we're gonna go up, check out the king on his perch up here. But I have a feeling, yeah, check it out. The dude's frozen in some kind of mystical red ice. And this is no ordinary ice. A fire arrow or a regular flame will not touch or take care of that. However, there is something that will. Something that we actually find in the ice cavern. So if we'd stop auto jumping, off the wrong places, uh, we'll actually get over there. All right, here's Zora's Fountain. No longer is Lord Jabu Jabu here. It's been replaced by a bunch of floating ice bergs, I guess. Um, Let's try to actually make our way over. There we go. Get a good jump. It's best to kind of line yourself up using your, um, your Z button to kind of... And once we're lined up, we give it a good jump. And peace of heart. All right, so a little bit more of a heart container. We have one piece so far. We just recently tanked up in, another, in the last video that you saw. All right, so here we go. And 
enough, we go into the ice cavern. All right, so here we go. Okay, here we are at the ice cavern. We go down a twisty hallway. A little twisty corridor. These guys in this room will get you and freeze you in place. It, it does help to use your hook shot. Hook onto them. Uh, unless one of the other guys freezes you first. Anyway, destroying them all will re release the bars on the door. Okay, one more to go. Look at that. Not only do they freeze you, but they teleport as well. What a pain in the butt. There we go. Ah, oh, stupid thing. All right, here. And we're going. Every time. I need to be more careful, obviously. Thank you for the hearts. Okay. The giant sp spinning blade room. There's like five silver rupees in here. And we need to get all five to unlock the next door. That's the challenge. Meanwhile, not getting chopped up by the blade. So, a lot of just running around will do it. Just trying to stay out of its way like that. Again, see that wall with kind of the... Uh, orange red hue to it that can only be melted away with a special fire that we're going to go get right, so here we go one more yeah all right bars are up but meanwhile guess what's behind us that's right you destroyed a gold skull color all right we got it now that door is actually up this little thing that we must climb. The bars were released. Yeah, it's behind me. There we go. And we're going and we're going. All right, deeper into the ice cavern. Another one of these guys. Always feels good to vanquish them. Come on. These are frozen keys. They will actually freeze you. See, I did that just for the example, right? I wanted to show you what it looks like. Um, all right, so get rid of that guy. Let's get some hearts. Now, if we jump over to the right and up here, we're gonna need a couple bottles worth, okay? We can actually put what's right there. This is blue fire, it may not seem natural. All right, so now he's telling us that this is some special fire. And it is. It's really cool. In a way, it acts like a key. Because, you know, with, with each um, use of it, it can unlock certain items, uh, passageways, doors, if you will, that are frozen over. So not your typical door, but very appropriate for an ice cavern. So we're going to need a second bottle here. All right, so we take out this fairy. Sort of wasted, but not. Because, you know, we need the bottle. So uh, we still have one. But we definitely need two bottles worth. Of the blue fire. Oh, thank you. I, I just love these. Oh my goodness. I, try, hey, just keep your little wings off of me there. Okay. That was close. All right, let's use our blue fire here. Every time. Would you get away from me? I'm gonna start sniping those guys. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna start getting rid of them. I I've had enough. All right, see you later, dude. Okay, now, blue fire. Before we we're rudely interrupted,
And we found the dungeon map. Very nice. There is one more thing over there that we could get. Small chest. It doesn't have a key or anything in it. But before we leave the room, it's a good idea to fill up your second bottle again. Because we used it on the, uh, on the ice that had the chest in it. So, now tanked up with two and... That's what you get. That's what you get. Yeah. I need to do better about sniping those guys before they, uh, they get me. I can't, I, I'm just like so gung-ho, I just run, 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 but uh... Anyway, a little bit of caution will actually uh, save me some hearts. Okay. Alright, this is the back to the sling blade room. Now remember this ice wall over here. Okay, now we can actually get through it. Which is pretty cool. Alright, using our blue fire. And there we go. What lies ahead? Ah. Yes. <laughs> Link, where are you going? That room isn't that bad. Now seriously, Link, where are you, where are you going? Like, I, I don't, I don't want to do the ice block room. I really don't. You have any other rooms? Or, you know, how about how about this one? I'm kidding. Link's no coward. That, that would be really funny, though, right? To have your main character of the game just go like, that. no, no, no. I've seen this room. Not doing it. No, not today. Okay, this room's actually really cool. All right, so in this room has its own supply of blue fire. But also a, a few things that we need to acquire in this room as well. So let's get some in our bottles. All right, so there's two. Take care of some keys. That's better. Use some blue fire. There we go, we got a compass. Over here, what an easy heart to get, right? I love this one. Again, blue fire source, six feet away, and uh, there's a gold skulltella, and a heart in here, and the compass. One of my favorite rooms. I mean, this is a great little room. All right, so let, let's get that gold, there he is. There's just some good stuff in here, easy to acquire, which now I know. You know, Link's like, no, 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 we gotta do that first. Uh, he's, he's, he's talking to me, right? It's like, no, I'm turning around. And we, we have to go to the fun room, then we'll go handle that stupid ice block sliding around room. Um, that room is never any fun, I swear, I still get turned around from it. For that. Um, the way you push the block to get to a certain place, anyway. If you guys know, you know, and if you don't, you'll see. Okay. But, you know what we must do. That's right. We must face this. And we must be brave. Okay. One of the smart things to do in this room is to take care of the keys first and two down. Otherwise, they're going to be coming up and bothering us as we try to take care of the necessary things in this room. So, but also right here on this wall, I hear the sounds of a, that's right, a gold sculpt. And there we go. So this room, its puzzle has to do with 
What do you call this? Point is, you have to push this block around to the different places. And we have to collect, again, five silver rupees to unlock the bars on the door. Meanwhile, everything is slippery. As in ice slippery. Um, I... Yeah. It's really good. There we go. Alright, so, but by moving this block, it allows us to climb up and actually get these silver rupees. Another one. These first four, not that difficult. Okay. We do have one more. What's funny is this that last this last move is deceptively easy to do it's it's not associated with the others but um it used to really trip me up and there's number 5 so now with 5 rupees the bars on that passageway over there across across the room are gone, allowing us access to that area. I believe there's a couple ways to do this. This way does work. Doesn't look like it does, but you'd be surprised. Look at that. And we're through the infamous ice block room. Take care of this guy. Take care of this guy. That's why we had two bottles of blue fire with us. Because blocking the passageway, again, like a locked door, uh, are these uh, red ice. The blue ice takes care of them. Unlocks them, if you will. What's behind the door? This is a cool room. Check it out. Right away. Just like the beginning of the forest temple, right? This time like an ice wolf host. Easily handled. What is in the chest? That's right, the iron boots. Very key to what we need in the future. Look who's here. It's Sheik. We meet again, Link. If you came here to meet the Zoras, you wasted your time. This is all there is. With one exception, the Zoras are now sealed under this thick ice sheet. I managed to rescue the Zora princess from under the ice, but she left to head out to the water temple. This ice is created by an evil curse. The monster in the water temple is the source of the curse. Unless you shut off the source, this ice will never melt. If you have the courage enough to confront the danger and save the Zoras, I will teach you the melody that leads to the temple. Time passes, people move. Like a river's flow, it never ends. A childish mind will turn to noble ambition. Young love will become deep affection. The clear water's surface reflects the growth. Now listen to the serenade of water to reflect upon yourself. It's a beautiful little poem, wasn't it?
serenade of water. You have learned the serenade of water. Link, I'll see you again. Okay, Prince, I mean, Sheik. We have the iron boots. There's just one more key thing that we need before the water temple. But for now, let's don our iron boots and they will allow us to do something we haven't been able to do before. And they're very heavy. Yes, we sink right to the bottom of the water. We're actually walking on the bottom of the water. When you don't need them, you take them off. Some blue eyes. Blue fire, forgive me. Blue fire. <laughs> blue ice. If I've been saying that. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, blue fire. To take care of the red eyes? Yeah. It's a bunch of colors, a bunch of what, fire and ice, whatever. Um, point is, we got it. Now let's get out of here. We need to go uh, help the king. And that's what, what matters here. There we go. All right, back to Zora's fountain. There's something we can do before we go see the king. It's pretty cool, actually. There is a lovely prize waiting for us at the bottom of Zora's fountain. And you wouldn't know it, it's there unless you put on your iron boots and take the plunge. So here we go. These allow us to sink all the way to the bottom. now. We are not fish, and therefore not having gills means that we do have a one minute time limit on our ability to be underwater. However, it's more than enough. Look at that. Right there at the bottom of Zora's Fountain. A lovely heart piece. I like it. Taking off the iron boots allows us to now float back up, back to where there's breathable air. So we swim on up. Now we can make our way to the king. And be rewarded for our valiant efforts. Ah. <sighs> so funny. All the things mirrored between Zelda and Mario. Um, every time I play a Mario game now, like Wonder, uh, 3D, uh, you name it and back and forth between Zelda and Mario. I see so many similarities. Um, more on that in the future. I have some thoughts on that. All right, so taking out our blue fire, we use it next to the king. And look at that. He is freed from his bondage. What a lovely camera angle. There we go. All right, let's talk to this, talk to our old friend here. Oh, I've come back to life. Was it you who saved me? Oh, don't be nervous. It looks like you have a hard time breathing underwater. 
as an expression of my gratitude, I grant you this tunic. And with this, you'll be able to breathe underwater. And we have the Zora tunic. It's basically our blue tunic. And guess what, guys? That means that, yes, we are now equipped for and ready to take on the water temple. Not bad. I, lo I love the blue one. Just, just to wear everywhere. Um, from now on, it's kind of my favorite one. And there we go. Now we have the blue tunic on. If you play the Song of Storms right here in Zora's Domain, there is a secret. That's right. Underneath is a fairy fountain. Pretty cool. We need this because we used our bottles for blue fire. So now we need to tank them back up with fairies. So here we go. There's one. Let's dump out our blue fire. Got another fairy. Nice. So, got all three now. Good to go. So we are back to where we were. After using our bottles for blue fire, we need to restore things to where they were. And, you know, get them all filled up with uh, fairies. Always have to play with them. I do. Um, I'm way too... I run around and without caution everywhere and just kind of allow myself to get some anyway I, ha I have a, I do it for fun right I'm not overly cautious so therefore I need those fairies as backup <laughs> <laughs> 